guys and welcome back to another Rixton education video. I'm Rob and today we're looking at configuring HTTPS in Mule 3.6 and above. Note that all the key stores and trust stores in this example were generated using Key Store Explorer, which you can find here. Key Store Explorer is a very handy graphical alternative to the command line Java tool. All stores were created using the RSA algorithm. Here we can see the four mule flows used for this example, represented in the message flow view of AnyPoint Studio. The two upper flows demonstrate a one-way SSL configuration, while the lower two demonstrate two-way authentication. For those of you not using AnyPoint Studio, I'll be showing the XML for these flows later. This XML shows the HTTP listener used to accept requests in the client flows. Here we can see the HTTPS request configuration for one-way SSL. The Trust Store contains the public certificate for the HTTPS server flow shown below. And here we can see the HTTPS server listener configuration for one-way SSL. The key store contains the public certificate and private key. OK, so now we'll take a look at the case for mutual authentication. And in this case, we have to configure both client and server connectors using both a key store as well as a trust store. We'll now consider what each of these should contain. Here we have the HTTPS request configuration referencing the client trust store, which holds the certificate of the HTTPS server in the same way as in the one-way SSL above. But this time we also specify a client key store, which includes a public certificate and private key which belong to the client. The HTTPS server flow again holds a reference to the key store, which stores the public self-signed certificate and private key. In addition, we reference the server trust store, which stores the certificates of client applications which it should trust. Here, as I promised earlier, you can see the XML for the four flows. And now to finish off, Let's run these examples in AnyPoint Studio, make a request to each of the two client flows, and check the output in the console. OK, so let's get AnyPoint Studio up and running. I'm now making requests to the two URLs you can see here, one way and then two way. As you can see, both ran successfully. Well, I hope this has been useful. For more information, check out our blog post. If you have any questions, feel free to comment here or on the post. Stay updated with what's going on with Rixton and in the integration world. And follow us on Twitter or give us a like on Facebook. Well, thanks again for watching. Until I see you again.